Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to our prayer meeting. We have thought of preparing a guided video prayer meeting for everyone so that we can gather together and uh, hopefully do this simultaneously as a church, and uh, especially at this time when we are approaching the end of the month and the hopefully the end of the MECQ. We pray for the changes that will follow. And we ask everyone to come together in heart, in mind, and in spirit so that we may pray for our church, our government, and our nation, our country. So um, we bid everyone a good time of prayer. And let us begin with our opening song. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? I know that lately time seems to really fly and everything feels rushed, everything feels noisy, and it's like it's clouding our minds and our hearts. And despite that we are all in our homes and we have a lot of time, I know that a lot of us struggle to spend some quality time and quiet time with the Lord. That's why I'm very happy to have everybody who is watching with us here tonight uh, to just come and pray and listen to God's voice and be with Him. I hope that our opening song ministers to you and may you truly hear the Spirit's voice calling you to come away. proceed to our prayer time. What we're going to do is I'll be mentioning some prayer points and after mentioning each of them, there will be a specific time 
or a few moments for us to pray on our own or pray with somebody. Just as what we have heard from the song earlier, right now we'll be spending time with the Lord. For our prayer time, we'll be praying for three categories, for the government, for our country, and for our church. And I'll be sharing to you some of the prayer points. You can also pause the video so that you have more time to pray. So right now, we'll be praying together. So right now, let us take this time to pray for our government. Since today is May 27, and we're nearly approaching the May 31 mark, let us now pray for a beneficial and wise decision-making from the government on how to proceed underneath the circumstances in our country. Let us pray. Last week, it was announced that 42,000 OFWs will be coming back here in the Philippines within this week and the weeks to come. It is important that we pray that our government would be prepared and not be overwhelmed. Pray that there would be sufficient testing kits and medical services would be provided for them. Let us pray. Let us pray for our country, given that we are slowly loosening up in this quarantine. Pray that there will be no second wave in our country as what we have witnessed from other countries. Let us pray for God's grace and mercy. Last Sunday, it was announced that there are still new cases, 258, and coming up with a total of 14,000 as of May 24 with the coronavirus. Brothers and sisters, let us pray earnestly for God's grace and healing. Let us pray.
Let us now pray for our church, St. Stephen's Parish. We pray for our worship services. May it be God's way of strengthening our spiritual life and to be a source of comfort for each of us in this time of quarantine. May our members be empowered through it and that our members would truly worship our God. Let us pray. Let us pray for our fellowships, including our Sunday school and children's, that caters both from children to uh, high school students to college to young professionals and adults. Let us pray that each fellowship in their initiative would really help our members in this time of quarantine, in their faith, in their walk with God. Let us pray. Let us pray for the well-being of our church members, especially the elderly. We pray that everyone would stay healthy and vibrant, joyful. Let us pray. For the last item, you may take this time to pray for your own needs and those of others. And if you have a partner with you, you can also ask for his or her prayer requests. Let us pray.
Brothers and sisters in Christ, does your heart feel overwhelmed at times? Even as we were praying, I know that sometimes it may feel overwhelming to hear all of the things that we need to pray for, the never-ending list of things we need God to intervene for. But this is our comfort, and I hope that you can all hear it in your hearts. We have an advocate with a father who prays with us and intercedes for us. It is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And in him, our burden is not heavy. Our burdens are light. And as we continue to entrust him in all the days that will follow and in all the concerns that we will have, I hope that you remember we do this not through our own strength, but it is through Christ who lives in us. It is not I, but Christ who lives in, 